myself included, I put my hand up is, you know, again, even though Canada does have one more game to play, we know they're officially eliminated. So we're starting to look ahead to 2026. Also, because it is going to be a home World Cup. Yes, they're sharing it with the United States and Mexico, but there will be games in Canada. And, you know, the question for John Herdman, and it was posed today, was whether or not he believes he will be the coach still with Canada for 2026. Remember, he's been a part of you know, Canada soccer for many years now, beginning with the women and now moving on to the men. And this was his response. He goes, 11 years of work in this country, and I've been pioneering for a long period of time, and you'll not find anyone as passionate as I am about this program or about these players or about this staff. You'll not find one as passionate who wants to take the country to that next level. And you'll not meet anyone that it's, uh, that's experienced this moment with this team and the learning that I'll take from this to take into the next one. Uh, I don't know if I heard an emphatic yes, if I <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> we've discussed this and, and it's, this is not necessarily a shot at Herdman. We had this conversation, Ollie, heading into this World Cup cycle when we started to hear rumors of teams in Europe being interested in him. We started to ask, is he going to be the head coach heading into Qatar, we were all in agreement that he would be because why would he ever pass up on an incredible opportunity to coach, you know, both at the women's and now the men's World Cup. But I mean, there's still questions there when it comes to 2026, right? I mean, whether he gets eyeballs from, you know, European clubs, maybe he's not satisfied with what he's seen being done with Canada. Who knows? So many things could happen. Yeah, you're right. There's all kinds of different factors. And three and a half years, although it's a bit of a short turnaround to the next World Cup than usual, it's still a very long time. Um, and it's a long time, particularly when you're a national team manager who doesn't get to work with his team every day and, and has to obviously wait for, for those periods between camps to, to get together with the players and, and actually coach, right? So I, I think the answer is exactly what I would have expected, to be honest with you, from, from John Herdman. Obviously, there's going to be an attraction and a degree of excitement about going into a home World Cup with this team, building on what they've done in 2022. I don't think he's walking away the day after this tournament saying I've had enough. You know, I think that is something that that obviously is is going to be tempting for any coach to to take on that opportunity with Canada. I think it's a it's a great job going into 2026. At the same time, he's been in the role for a few years now. His his stock is rising and, and continuing to rise, uh, and he's probably in all likelihood going to leave that door open to to something potentially coming up in the club game after this tournament. Um, and and if there's something that you know, he feels is, is the next step in his career, catches his eye, allows him to make that transition to the club game, which I think every national team manager wants to take at some point. You know, there's obviously going to be a decision decision to make for him there. So I think it'll be about kind of the, the, the level of interest and, you know, how attractive those jobs are. But you would expect that to, to be some after the job that he, he's done over the past few years with Canada. What sticks out to me with this, Ali, is that two things can be true at the same time. You could love Canada and want the national team to do well, and this is a group that you've worked with. But you could also yeah. want to do well and, and take your talent somewhere else. Like, happens all the time in the game of football. What I want to commend John Herdman for is in a game nowadays where everyone's tactically sound, coaches have a, a way that they want to play, his man management skills with the boys has been superb. Uh, and I think that relationship, if it keeps developing and and – the players and him, they, they keep working on their trust. It could be something that could really put this squad in a place that could be a force to be reckoned with in 2026. Um, just having a relationship with John, knowing him for quite some time. I, I know that he would love to be here in 2026. I think that that's part of his plan is to manage Canada at a home world cup. Um, but I want to refer to an article that was written by Neil Davidson of the Canadian press he was sleuthing on a coaching call with CSA president Nick Bontis a few weeks back. And, and, and Nick was talking about this, about talking about a new contract to retain John Herman long-term. He has a contract, but it sounds like, you know, probably both sides are willing to probably, I'm assuming to give him a little bit more. And he, Bontis said, we know that John's a very, very hot commodity. We want to keep him here hundred percent right through 2022 and right through 2026. But I'm a realist and I'm a pragmatist. I cannot guarantee anybody on this call that John is going to stay with this organization. There's certain realities that are out there, certain career aspirations that people have, certain financial implications that we have and limitations. So if there's an offer that John can't refuse, it's better somewhere else. Wouldn't be surprised if he's asking for a dollar value that exceeds Canada soccer's budget. 
And there are real limitations when you want to create a professional women's league, when you want to invest in the professionalism of the organization, which is in desperate need. You want to give more to the players. Um, difficult decisions will have to be made. So we'll see where that ends up. I think the plan is he is here in 2026, but like all three mm -hmm. of you said, anything can happen. That's a long period of time. And whatever he decides, that's okay. That's his career. Yeah. That's his right. life.